Welcome to Animation Hub. Today, we're going to be looking at how to set up a MetaHuman for MoCap Manager. So we can't just use them straight out of the box. We do need to make um, a new version of them, basically. It needs to be inheriting from the Capture Character class. So I've got my MetaHuman here. And let's just open that up. And as you can see, we've got uh, the various components. And so we're going to create a new blueprint. And we're going to make it of capture character. There we go. Now you can call this what you want, but I quite like capture character MH character 01, just copying the, the original name. So I'm going to open these both up and we're going to transfer some assets between them. So let's go full screen. And first things first, if we get hold of the body and we copy paste or you can shift right mouse button and let's go and paste that onto the skeletal mesh asset top slot there. So we've got our arms and legs in. Next, let's go and get the rest of the skeletal meshes and the groom. So let's select these, control C, and then let's paste these over. And so there we go. So we've basically copied that blueprint, but it's of a different inherited class. It's parent class is different, I should say. So let's close these both down. And then in mocap manager, let's create a new character. Let's call it for now um, capture because that's going to be the data that we, the underlying uh, skeletal data that we're going to use. And then MH01. That's going to be the name. The source is going to be our capture skeleton. We've already got this set up. Um, and I'm going to, in the character class, I'm going to choose the one, the class that we just created. And in character mesh, you're going to want to add the body for that character. So character 01 body mesh and then create the character asset and then we can spawn it so as you can see we've already got some animate I already had some animation coming in and that's mapped but um, you will notice I'm sure that the shorts and t-shirt isn't lining up isn't isn't animating now we can fix this temporarily by going to the character section on the asset and just toggling this but that's pretty annoying to do every time and, and this is something we can fix on construction so if I just edit this class go to the construction script and off of construction let's just set the leader pose component and we're going to use it's only the body and the shorts that's the issue. The face doesn't need this um, because it, it gets its animation from a different source, which we're going to look into in a sec. Uh, so there we go. If you had um, a meta human with more components than this, then you would just build one of these for each each mesh. And what we're going to want to do is set, basically say is this mesh, this shorts and t-shirt has a new leader, which is the which is the body and we're going to want to tick these two and what this is doing is basically saying all of your animation is inherited from this component hit compile and save and then just to prove that this is going to work every time we spawn this character let's just delete these and spawn it again so it was that one and hit spawn and as we can see that's worked great so, but what about face? Let's let's sort face out. So we can use webcam for this. So if I go over to the live link tab and uh, add source, go to MetaHuman video. This is available in the MetaHuman live link plugin. And it can detect my webcam and I quite like the default settings. So I'm just gonna hit connect. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is go in and 
disable head orientation, translation, and stabilization. The reason being is that we're already getting the head orientation, translation, and stabilization off of the capture data. If we had these on, we would get double transforms on the neck, which are pretty wacky, pretty fun, but not really what we need. So to, in order to apply this to the MetaHuman, we do need to combine these sources, which is what we're going to use a virtual live link subject for. So we're just going to go to add source again, add a virtual subject. I'm going to call this body and face. Add. And then I'm just going to go and add those two subjects. Then back in MoCap Manager, I'm just going to apply, uh, instead of the body data that's coming in on unknown, let's apply the new virtual live link subject where they're combined. And you should now see that she's animating to my facial pose. So if we just want to isolate that to take a closer look, let's just give um, the source as the webcam. And now you can see uh, it's matching my lip sync and my eye blinks and my facial expressions. So if we now switch that back to the virtual live link subject, we've combined the two. And that's it. And that's how we set up MetaHumans for MoCat Manager.